firstly, there's, there's no secret deals. Nothing's taken place at all, has it? No, 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 no I mean, there's certainly no... There's laughter from stage Yeah, well, deal. exactly. I mean, there's certainly no uh, secret deals. Gary Cahill's an outstanding player. And, uh, you know, come January, something might happen for Gary, something might not. I mean, we've dealt with this every, every window. I think the... Uh, the reason it is a story again, or certainly will be, is because of obviously the contractual situation. But what's got to happen at this moment in time is Gary has to remain focused, as he's always done. He has to play to the top of his ability, first and foremost for Bolt Wanderers, for Gary Cahill, and equally you know, for his international aspirations. It looks as though he's cemented himself, not in the squad, but in the team. And if he wants to be in those Euro Championships, and, and if, if he wants you know, elite clubs to be clamouring after him, he has to perform at a very high level. And Gary knows that he one, he's more than capable of doing it, as he has done, and two, if he does and continues to do it, then there will be that, that clamour for him. That goes without saying. So you know, when January comes, if I have to deal with it, then then so be it. But it's certainly not for this moment in time, James. It's about, you know, as making sure that uh, game for game Gary Kills at his very best. But it doesn't bother him, does it, clearly? No, it does it doesn't bother him and, and equally as a manager it doesn't bother me. Ultimately it's going to be, you know, if it comes about then we'll deal with it then as we always have done. We've always been very open, we've always been very transparent with anybody that had any questions to ask. Uh, we've answered them honestly, we've never been evasive in any form and we'll continue to be that way. Difficult to have a they've got a serious, similar run of situations that you had and, and, and similar results from that. It does prove that you know, the point you're making that the elite team is just not easy. Is it? And anyone's going to struggle against some of the people at the top of the Premier League? Well, I think you know we, we accept you know if you're able to spend that sort of finance 300 million whatever building teams and and even the ones round about at 100 million here and there then you're going to have very good players world class players at their disposal and, and good luck to them in doing that but for me Everton are, are a terrific side I mean Everton I believe will finish in the uh, they'll be in the top eight positions I've got no doubt about it they have regardless of people saying whether well, they've not spent they have ready made you know top players at a football club you know the the Fellinis and the Sahas and the Cahills and I mean these are top players in anybody you know in any team in the league uh, so we know we have to be ready for that and we will be and it'll be a, you know it's always a great game against Everton anyway but it's two very committed teams but going all like to win a similar blueprint to what you'd like to kind of aspire to I mean it's a little bit further down the road because you've seen the Premier League a little bit longer but you know similar route well yeah, well, I, I mean, I know him from, from way back. I mean, when I played at Bolton and, and, and David was at Preston, we used to bump into each other at reserve games because we were out watching games even though we were players at the time. And he's somebody I've got a lot of time for, you know, and uh, there's nothing he doesn't know about football. But more than that, I mean, he's good company as well. You know, uh, when you get him relaxed, he's actually witty and everything else. And uh, and somebody I've got a lot of time for. But again, uh, we know that there's both two very good teams, two teams that want points for their own agenda. And we have to make sure that we get them for ours. Bottom line is, it looks pretty good if you can get a back-to-back home win, doesn't it? That, that's, that's the value of what you did against Spurs. Yeah, I, th I think that's the, that's the, if there is a frustration, that's what it's been, that we've not put two back-to-back -back wins together with a chance last week at West Brom, and all of a sudden you have to start again afresh, uh, and that's what we have to do. But we have to make sure we're at our best, because as I said before, it's a tough game every week in the Barclays Premier League, regardless of you know who you're playing, and the fact that it's Everton with their quality, then we know, uh, as I say, it's a tough game. But one we're ready for, one we're looking forward to, as I say, we have to go and get atmosphere at the Reebok again.